Tip number one is for those of you that have just transitioned from PC to a Mac and it's how to activate right click on the Mac. So you go to system preferences, go into your trackpad and then in the first option here, point and click, there's an option here to enable secondary click. And you can choose a couple of options uh, that allows you to right click, uh, which is double tap, uh, click or tap with two fingers, click in the bottom right corner and click in the bottom left corner. Now, as a, as a primarily PC user before I got my Mac, I was more used to secondary clicking by double by using two fingers on the trackpad and you can do that on Mac as well. So for those of you guys that didn't know, I uh, hope this helps. Tip number two is for those of you guys that don't like all the extravagant an animations that you get on a Mac just like that. So when I go and minimize my window, you can see it does what's called a genie effect. Now, I when I was first setting up my Mac, I didn't really enjoy that. So the way that you can change that is by going to your system preferences, which we're already here, um, and going to dock and menu bar. And there's an option here that says minimize windows using. And if you change that from genie effect to scale effect, you will now have pretty smooth animation. Uh, you know, pretty quick animation makes the, uh, makes the animation for minimizing things a little bit more manageable, a little bit more uh, pleasant to look at. Uh, and I, I, since you're gonna be doing this a lot with you know, many different windows, I think this is one that you guys should absolutely check out uh, if you haven't already. Now tip number three is for those of you guys that have a MacBook Pro and can utilize the touch bar at the top of your keyboard. And one thing you can do with your touch bar is to customize the icons that are on it. And the way that you do that is by going to system preferences here. And it's a little bit hard to find, but if you go into keyboard and then go to at the bottom where it says customize control strip, it will give you the option to change your, uh, change your touch bar. And so you can take any of these icons and you can actually take them and drag them down into your onto your touch bar and I'll show you what that looks like right now and you can actually put them there and you can take as many as you want and you can drag them it's a, it's a really cool system where you can just drag it onto the touch bar and it moves around so that's how you customize your touch bar tip number four is how to record your screen on a Mac and this is something that's built in natively to the Mac, so you don't really have to go download any other softwares to do this. And the way you do that is by opening up QuickTime Player, which you can search in your spotlight, search QuickTime Player, have that, open it up. And when it's open, you can go to the top right here, you can hit File and hit New Screen Recording. And that's how you record your screen in a Mac without having to download any other additional softwares uh, or hardware. And you can actually record your voice as well. So if you guys want to be speaking while you do something, get providing instructions, any kind of thing like that, uh, you can do that natively on the Mac. In tip number five, I'm going to share with you guys three shortcuts that you guys absolutely need to know um, to be able to navigate your Mac efficiently and use it to the best of its potential. So number one is the shortcut command plus spacebar, which will open up your spotlight search. And in this search, you can search whatever you want. You can search an application that you have on your laptop or something that you want to search online. For instance, I'm going to search up COVID-19 uh, just because that's going on right now. And uh, you can see here that it pops that up. And if I want to close that and I want to search an application, let's say Word, and I can launch Microsoft Word from there. So that's a really fast and easy way for you to launch applications, for you to search anything that you want without having to go into the go onto the internet or uh, look in your apps. The second shortcut that I want to tell you guys about is uh, one that now you have apps open, you want to close your apps, and how do you do that? You can close them, but what happens is they still kind of stay. You still have they're still active in the background. So what you can do is if you want to close them and, and completely exit out of the program, you can hit Command plus Q. So if you hit Command Q, it will shut down the program, whatever it is, and you can see now that there is no little dot. It's no longer active in the background. All right, and the third uh, shortcut that you guys absolutely need to know is how to take a screenshot of your screen. This is one. This one had me stumped for a little while until I figured it out, and it's really easy. Uh, what you want to do is if you have a window open, so let's say I have uh, the internet opened up, I, I'm on YouTube and I want to capture a screen, I would hit 
shift command and three so i would hit shift command three and i would take a screenshot of the screen that it is right now and it would put it right in the um in this right bottom corner right here so you can click on and actually edit it from there before you save it now if you want to save it you can hit done if you want to edit it you can edit it using all these controls uh, i'm just going to hit done and it will save it to your desktop in this tip i'm going to show you guys how you can uh, sign your PDFs or create signatures and put them on your PDFs uh, natively on the Mac. And it's a really cool feature. Uh, if you have a PDF, you can go ahead and open that up. And this is your PDF editor. Uh, and if you go to the top uh, of, your, of, your, of your screen here and click on show markup toolbar, if you click on that, uh, they'll have a variety of options. We wanna click on this one that looks like a signature. And there's actually uh, a few ways you can you can uh, create a signature. I'm gonna show you guys how to create it on the trackpad. You can also create it with a camera by taking a picture of your signature uh, or on your iPhone, which is a cool feature as well, which in which uh, your iPhone turns into a screen that you can actually write on. But we're gonna click, uh, we're gonna click here to begin for the trackpad. And I am very bad at this, okay. There you go, all right, that's my signature, okay. And I'm gonna hit any key, and there you go, that's my signature, and I'm gonna hit done. And it's right there, so if I click on it, hey, it puts it right into, uh, into, the, uh, into the PDF. And so this is how you can sign, and it's native to the, uh, to the Mac, which is amazing, and this is how you guys can create a signature and put it on your PDFs. This next tip is a really fun one. So if you guys have a MacBook Pro, uh, you guys know that there are no function keys at the top, and you guys are probably smart enough to figure out that if you hit the function key, that uh, that's where they, they come up and you can click the function keys uh, by doing that. Now, the thing that you might not know is if you double tap the function key, this is what happens. Yes, it pulls up a list of emojis, and you can use these everywhere in your, uh, you know, in whatever you're working, if you're making, uh, you know, notes on, on Word, or even if you're making notes in your notes here. Um, if I were to create a new note, uh, I could double tap function. Oh, and it would allow me to put a smiley face into here. We're just going to put a, a nice happy smiley face. That's probably the creepy one, but that is something that you can do. Tip number eight is a really easy one, but it's something that stopped me when I first got my Mac. So if you go into the Apple logo right here um, and you click about this Mac, this is actually where you can see how much storage you have on your Mac and how many applications that you have, how much memory that it's, how much uh, storage it's taking up to have those, have all those apps. And if you click manage, you can actually get a detailed overview of all the apps that you have downloaded, all the books that you have, and et cetera, et cetera, um, just to be able to manage the data that you have on your computer. All right, and the last tip for today is about using gestures, and gestures are an amazing feature on the MacBook Pro and on a Mac in general. So I'm gonna tell you guys about a few, a few of the gestures that you can use that are really helpful and can help you increase your productivity as you work around with the Mac. So the first one is to launch your, uh, to open the launch pad, which is your applications. And you do that by closing the fingers on the trackpad and the launch pad will pop up. You can see all your applications and you can search whatever application. The next gesture you guys should really know about is how to see all your windows when you have a whole bunch of windows open. And if you do have all those windows open, what you can do is swipe up with three fingers and it will actually show you all the windows that you guys have open. And so you can easily organize and go to the right window that you want. Now, in addition to this, you can also go to new desktop. So if I were to click a whole new desktop here, I could, I could go to this desktop like this. But what I can also do is if I wanted to go back to my, my old desktop with all of those windows, I can take three fingers on the trackpad and then swipe left and I'd be on the old desktop. And you can see this is my old desktop because it has all these windows. And then if I want to, I can switch over to the desktop two without even having to go and click on the top right here. I just need to swipe with three fingers and that's how I navigate between my desktops. The last gesture that's really, really important for you guys to know is by swiping left on uh, on your trackpad for the notification center, you need to uh, you need to 
swipe left on the right side of the screen <clears throat> and it will open up your notification center. And so you can do that and then you can scroll up and down on your notification center and you can ed edit widgets, all that kind of stuff on your notification center. All right, that's it for today's video. If you guys like what you saw and if you learned something, let me know down in the comment section below and be sure to hit the, hit the like button and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.